memory on that last play was there confuse the read or just try and fit it in there and make something happen on the play? No, they was in uh, man coverage. Um, we had two hitch routes. The D come behind. Um, the D got inside of the guy. I'm throwing it, anticipating it, and the receiver uh, fell down. thought it was a, a PI, but um, I mean, we didn't get it, and I mean, that's how it turned out. Was there any instinct to try to take off again, or just thought you had the right route? And... I mean, I mean, he got inside the guy. We got exactly what we wanted. Um, I mean, got his fell down. You know what I mean, and when you, when you play football, stuff happens sometimes. So this is your first loss here at Cincinnati for two really good weeks. How do you move on from this and try to dwell on it? Dwell on it for a minute. Uh, basically, just get back in the film room and um, you know dissect this game um, as hard as we can and. Just, just have a great week of practice. You know, we got a big opponent coming in um, uh, next week, so you know we got to prepare a really good and practice well the whole week. So. Six points for seven there in the last game. What was Miami's defense doing so well in their front and second half? Um, honestly, I don't think it was too much of them. I think it was just us not executing. Honestly, um, like I said, that's something that we had to go back to the drawing board and, and get better at this week. 20 rush for 101 yards today for you. Was that by design or just something you saw with their defense where you were trying to get away from that? Um, that's what they kind of gave me. Um, we had a lot of read options in the game plan, and um, they were squeezing a lot, and I got a lot of poor reads, so I was just doing my job. Anything you saw from Ryan today uh, that allowed him to, to kind of be that bell cow uh, running back? So it looked like he had a really strong day. Yeah, well, I mean, we got like three starting running backs. I feel like, um, I mean, he was a guy that was hot today, so you know, we just uh, stuck with him, and you know, he was out there making plays. You and Xavier had a pretty good night with all the receptions there. Were they doing anything different on Brighton that looked like they were the ball? Um, they do a good job of 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 like overlapping with their corner. Um, to cover scenes and, and inside like intermediate routes. So, you know, I was trying to focus on the singles um aside this this game. So um I mean, they were just kinda of taking away. So I just I just took what they gave me. Talking about the execution inside the five yard line. What was maybe the biggest miscue with that execution? You guys seem like you guys tied up on the two yard line and then two, three runs with the stuff right there and then you weren't able to get yeah, um, I mean, they're on scholarship too. I mean, they were um, like kind of getting some push on us, and we obviously didn't get the job done down there. So I mean, we just got to go back to the drawing board this week and make sure we prepare for next week. Brian, with the interception there, you guys set the drive at the eight, come up empty. Can you just walk us through what that play call looked like with Juan and you know, Dante there on the offensive line and what you were seeing on the field there? Yeah, um, I mean, we were at that play in practice. Couple times, and um, I mean, it's a it's a handoff for me, so I'm basically just I just get out of the way for the running back and let them do things. And just it just didn't work out. I know there's no easy way to like try to find positives in this, but is there some positive that you guys were in the red zone seven times and you were able to move the ball um, that you can take into next week? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we know what we need to work on now. Um, that's red zone scoring, obviously, and um, you know, that's something that we're going to attack this week and make sure that we're ready and prepared to execute next week. Thanks, Emory. All right, thank you.